Hello and welcome to Road CC. Now, today's unboxing is a little bit special because we've managed to get our hands on the brand new Favero Asioma dual-sided power meter pedals. Now, if you're thinking, wait, who are Favero? What's Asioma, etc.? Then the company were actually responsible for the little known B Pro power pedals that came out a couple of years ago. But they've gone for a rebrand and the next gen here are now called the Asioma. They are very competitively priced at 799 euros, with a one-sided set also available for 499 euros. And from what Favero are telling us, to get going, you simply stick them on your bike, pair with your computer, and you're good to go. So let's get this box open. So as you can see, they're in a snazzy presentation box, and let's get one of these straight on the scales. And as you can see, it's weighing in at 151 grams. That is extremely impressive for a pedal with power meter capabilities. So under here, we have an eight mil hex key for attaching the pedals to your bike, which is useful so you don't have to fumble around trying to find your own. And also the cleats are included. Now these are Keo compatible, but are made specifically for the Asiomas. So you will want to use the ones in the box for the most precise fit. All of the power measuring tech is packed next to the spindle here. There are no extra parts or fiddly bits, so they're very easy to transfer between bikes. To charge the pedals, you just get USB ports here and that just snaps on like so. Incredibly simple, easy to use. The Asiom is AMP Plus and Bluetooth ready. And while the previous version, the B Pros, only used AMP Plus, this means you can now use these pedals on Zwift, on other virtual training apps, and transmit your data to your computer and the training program simultaneously. To begin pairing the unit with your bike, you just need to download the Asioma app on a smartphone. For me, you can set your crank length, plus make and check for firmware updates. So I've paired the pedals to Asioma's app on my phone. I've set the crank length and now I'm ready to put them on my bike. Which you'll have to excuse me is a little bit dirty, but she's due a clean at the weekend, I promise. In my opinion, the best thing about the Asioma system is that they just fit like normal pedals. Just make sure you've applied some grease, use the eight mil hex wrench supplied and you're good to go. You don't really even need a specific torque, just the standard that you'd use on a usual set of pedals. Asioma do supply washers, but you won't need to use them with most cranks, such as the Ultegra one we're using here. If yours has a recessed seat, then one or two must be used to ensure a free space between sensor and crank arm. We're using the Wahoo Element Bolt to pair our pedals. You'll want to check the instructions on your computer to find out how to locate the menu for calibrating a power sensor. One thing you do need to do is make sure your cranks are positioned vertically for the computer to find them. The number on the calibration should be set to naught, and as you can see, it takes seconds. So there you have it, it really is that simple. Now, I'm not the brightest spark by any means, but managed to get these fully set up in 10 minutes flat out of the box. So. It's looking pretty promising at the moment. Obviously what we'll be judging the Asiomas on the most is accuracy, and that will require plenty of further testing. So make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check back on the RoadCC website for a full review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.